What's up guys and welcome back for another EVE Online video. Havoc is here and we are going to be talking about the new project manager role and the automatic payment that is now included with the projects for corporations. These are really interesting actually. I really do like the automatic payment because it allows you to kind of like automate a lot of, um, of different activities in your corporation. Before you could set up projects and goals and things like that and kind of reward members manually. But this actually incentivizes the corp um, leaders or the people in the project role or project management role to kind of set up ways for your members to actually kind of make some uh, some income and also kind of direct a certain uh, certain items to certain locations for a certain amount of cash. So right now, as you can see, I'm out here mining in a Mackinac, and I have just a very basic project set up. I have it called a mining rate. You could probably call it like mining pay or whatever. What I'd have is this is set up to mine any material, and I'm basically going to pay them one isk for every unit. doesn't matter if it's Veldspar, doesn't matter if it's moon mining, and there is a allotment that gets put into escrow from the corp wallet. And then as this person is mining, so we've done about 30, uh, 303,000 units of Veldspar. And as you can see right here, I have a claim button up here as this member. And it also, it takes that um, ISK out of escrow as well. It takes it out of the actual main total right there. So this member can actually just, you know, spend all day mining if they wanted. And then come into the project screen and claim their, uh, their share or so to speak and this is a really good way and I kind of like this as a way to incentivize people to kind of go out there and and kind of turn lasers on now this could be done with multiple different things this could even be done with ratting where you can go out and like you can set a project to kill a certain amount of NPCs um, or deliver items and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mine out and we're gonna kind of fill up this uh, Mackinac and then I'm gonna show you how to set up the projects and kind of walk you through the UI and show you how you can set up um, being able to accept things from people in your corporation. So right now we're just kind of filling this up and this is just, this is obviously like one is per unit is pretty low, but we're already going to be planning to buy this Veldspar from this member. So the one is per unit essentially is an incentive to go out there and actually uh, do some mining. but. Let's go ahead and turn lasers off here. Actually, well, while we're actually mining, so we can fill up, I wanna walk you through the uh, the UI for this real quick. So if you go to corporation, and you can go over to my corporation, and then you go over here to projects. You can see here, this is the active one. You can also now duplicate these projects, which is really nice. So if we go in here, we can hit the duplicate button. This will kind of bring up all the information we already have set up. So we can actually go in here, and we're gonna make a, uh, a new one for the uh, buyback. So we're going to hit deliver. That's going to be the type. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put in here, um, we're going to do Veldspar because we actually only want to buy, uh, we actually only want to buy compressed Veldspar. And so that's what we're going to set in there. And then we're going to down in, under destination. We're going to actually pick the only corp op uh, office that we have that location. And then we also can just put in this, uh, this uh, same amount that we actually have set for the, uh, the mining one here too so this would we could call this like uh where's my caps lock we call this belt spar uh buyback and oh you can put a description here if you want whatever and then we can go over here now what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna go to janice i'm gonna look up the uh compressed belt spar value and we're gonna say this corporation will buy belt spar compressed at 80 percent jita so i'm gonna go ahead and select that in, G in janice and i'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, buy value for that and this is going to be uh, per item delivered so 9.8 we're actually gonna probably we don't have that much here on the test server so we're gonna bring this down to we'll say a, a thousand or ten thousand maybe yeah we'll go a little higher there we go we'll buy a um, hundred million of it and then we can actually create new and then that's going to have, um, that's, it, this is going to give you the current system as well. And so that's going to take all that and, out of the corp wallet and put it into escrow as well. So let's go back over here. In the opportunities, you'll be able to see both of them now. This will be the corp uh, buyback, which you can uh, track this as well. So we can actually track multiple things here. We only have one really expanded at a time. 
So right now, we can see what the progress of the Veldspar buyback is, but also just what our contribution is to the overall, uh, the overall mining of the Veldspar. I see this being very useful for moon mining, right? You can pay people like a certain amount per unit of moon ore that they go out and mine. So you're giving them essentially like kind of a rate of pay for actually having lasers on. And then when you go to uh, get that, uh, that moon stuff to the corporation, you could buy it at a certain rate. So you're incentivizing your uh, members, not just to like, you know, make money on the buyback, but actually make mining or money by going out there and actually doing an activity. All right, we are almost full, but we're going to do one more. Let's go and create new. And this one, I'm going to go with... So there's a bunch of... I'm going to go through all these little uh, options here that you can do. So there's a capture faction warfare complexes. Here you can set the different type or any. You can select whatever system. Say you want to like only run plexes in a certain uh, star system. You can do it there. You can also uh, restrict it to the type of uh, faction and everything. And then down here, we have uh, damage caps layers. You can just fill out all that stuff. So just P PvP. And then you have Defend Factional Warfare. Deliver would be your buyback. So you can basically put up any item in here um, and incentivize people to submit that in a certain location. You can destroy cap ships. You can also do a destroy non caps layer. So this would be, we could just set um, any. And we could, you know, say we want you know the members to you know, kill a thousand. Uh, rats, and you can call this ratting, ratting rate, and we'll say we'll pay them one per uh, per kill, and so that's you know not that great, but like you can also put in like let's say uh, one hundred twenty-five thousand per kill. Uh, you can incentivize them a little bit. Let's make sure we we don't have a whole lot of okay. We got a little bit, so we can actually make this. So let's go and create new on that one. That's uh, ratting rate. So now we have a little bit of uh, income that can be done from killing rats, where you can actually kind of get that from just mining as well. Go back in here and create another one. We'll kind of go keep going through this. You have a manual one where you can just have like a target value in here or whatever. And then you have also a manufacturing one where you can uh, create something for self or by the corporation, the type of item, and then also um, at the station or whatever. So you won't be able to actually go out and build certain things. You have uh, one for remote shield boosting or remote armor repair. And then also, here's another interesting one, is scanning signatures. So I would probably set this to like just scan any. And then put your home system in here. And then you can just put like, you know, a thousand in here. And then this would just be uh, the scanning rate. This would just incentivize members to actually go out there and just scan SIGs. We'll pay a little bit less than that. We'll pay like uh we'll pay like five hundred. We'll pay like half a mil for scanning. And so as you can see, that's pretty uh pretty nifty there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and first what we need to do is we need to dock and compress this ore because our buyback or belt bar buyback and so going out there and actually mining this and, and filling up this mackinaw got us uh almost half a million just for actually doing it so we go and hit claim then we make that money right away no one needs to be online it's all automated and all you really need to do as a project uh, manager is just kind of manage um and everything and what you can do is when these when these actually um when these actually complete, you can just sit there and duplicate them. Because you can duplicate not just active, but also completed uh, products as well. So it's not like you have to go in there and just keep uh, typing in all the information for the mining rate. You can kind of just duplicate the old one and uh, push it back out. But I can see this um, actually being a very good incentive program to just kind of get your uh, your uh, court members active and all that stuff. All right, so first we want to compress this stuff. Let's go ahead and compress it. And then we need to go to the actual location of the corp office in order to turn the buyback in. So I'm just kind of simulating what like what maybe a normal member would do, like in a high set corp or whatever. You know, they'll go you know, find a way to compress their ore, and then we're gonna go to where the office is because as a corporation leader, you want if you're gonna be buying stuff from members, you definitely want it to be in the right location. 
so you can kind of like com continue to feed it into the pipeline for manufacturing or whatever accepting buybacks um from just random locations and like people submit a contract the, the issue in the past has been people submit a buyback for the items that you do are you are requesting but it's in like some random location so this gives you a lot of control on how um, members can actually comp uh, complete this stuff so there's a little bit less admin on your side as far as logistics are concerned right so now once we're docked and we have everything compressed in order for the member to get credit for the actual delivery they need to actually deliver it to the projects uh, hangar um, but right here under the projects we are want to be able to go in and drop this belt bar in which is one way for them and so now over here on the belt bar buyback they drop that in they can now claim the isk so there we go made about four million on that and it is done and so now with these two with the buyback and the actual mining rate set up i as a corporate leader can pay people to go out there and actually do some mining and then i will pay them 80 percent jita to come in here and drop that compressed ore into here which i think is going to be really really beneficial for for moon mining so what we're going to do is we're going to go out and test we're going to go out and test the ratting rate because when we go out and you start mining again we'll probably get some uh some rats so you can actually um you can actually probably set up a pretty decent project payout for the ratters in your corporation figuring out um kind of how many because the thing is too is you want to be able to incentivize people to kind of work the adms and stuff like that and the indexes so if you really want your null stack system to kind of be uh, on the high end of your uh, military index and all that stuff like that then having people go out and rat and incentivize them for it is really good. They're already going to get paid for the actual rat bounty from just doing ratting as normal. But paying them like a flat rate per kill can actually go a long way in automating a way for you to uh, kind of keep your indexes up as well. And that's kind of what this, uh, it's kind of what this project and this payout um, kind of shows for. And it would take a long time to actually kill a thousand rats. But here we go. We got some bros right here already waiting. But uh, overall, um, I, whenever pro Corp Projects kind of first came out, I didn't really uh, use them a whole lot. Just because there wasn't like a way to really kind of automate the payment. It was a lot just more management for anything. So there we go. We got that rat kill, which immediately gives us the ability to claim 125000 And that allows for us to just kind of get out of there and make some isk but anyway i figured i'd make this video if you guys are you know running corporations and want to kind of you know know a little bit more about how this uh this project system kind of works and or the payout system kind of works the other thing too is i'm going to mention before we go is like the project manager role is a brand new role that you can assign to uh to members so before managing projects was just a director ceo thing but now you can actually give the ability to create, delete, do whatever you guys do with projects for a, a certain person. So you, they don't have to be a director to actually, you know, kind of manage that. So you can actually have a project manager role person that their only job is to just make incentive, uh, incentive, incentivizing projects for people. So that can be found in role management under permissions and then right over here to do project management there. But anyway, there you go. Got 250,000 is going to claim that. Making some money. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.